Welcome to Charm School. I'm Anna Griffin, and this is our Slimline Witch Dyes Made Easy. Now, good witches only here in our Halloween card making, and uh, that is going to be easily achieved with this adorable little die set with this little character witch and a really fun house, a broom, a hat, a little moon, and even a spider and some great little shoes. This die set is brand new uh, for this season and can uh, use, be used to create not only slimline cards, but, you know, cards and treat bag decorations of pretty much any size. Now you want to start with uh, die cutting different colors of cardstock. So I'm going to use the witch in the center of the frame and then we're also going to get a house out of this and uh, you know what we like to say around Halloween. Sometimes you just need to land a house on someone. <laughs> That's funny. That's actually one of the sentiments in our Halloween card making kits, uh, which is kind of funny, right from the Wizard of Oz. Uh, so here we go. We have the uh, the beautiful house frame. This is going to come out and look at that. It's got uh, lots of points and there's a lot going on up there. This would this would work for Christmas too. I think it's really adorable. And then our little tiny witch and her all of her pieces of her dress. You want to save all those extra little pieces so that you can inlay the background of her dress with scraps from the other colors that you're going to cut this out of. You might want to use our um, spooky black uh, matte foil. You want to use the, um, the fall metallic cardstock. And then even if you want to give your card a little more texture, you can take all your die cuts and run them through an embossing folder to get that, you know, that little extra something something for your card making. Now, one of the ways that we make our witch come to life is that inlay trick. Uh, and if you have seen this before, this is not gonna be a surprise to you, but we put a little piece of tape on the back of the open areas of the die cut. And that is going to receive the, the different colors from the scraps cut out of uh, you know the black cardstock. So you just lay it in there and then the tape holds it all together. Now you can fussy cut the the black hat or you can well this comes as a die so you can put the little uh, black hat right on top and you can do a broom as well and then you can fussy cut little pieces of the broom should you want to uh, to create a handle uh, and in, in, in I'm just gonna make a little uh, broom top in the gold and then we're gonna go back and put her little shoes on in black and now you know now she's just all dressed up ready for uh, for Halloween so if you're making a card for someone for uh, the Halloween occasions, you know, you just want to be mindful, right? Do they, do they have kids, right? This is the kind of card you want to send to a house full of kids because it looks like, uh, you know, something fun's happening. Now, this is the shadow layer that went down first and we cut that out of gray. And then here we've done a little inlay um, in the gold house uh, to create those little black details so that the frame comes to life. And then maybe you have some of our Halloween stickers and I love this kitty cat on the two pumpkins from the vintage Halloween retro uh, sticker set. And then of course we wanna take the shadow layer for the witch and then put her right on top, okay. Love that. All right. And somewhere we have a little sentiment and, and a little string. Isn't this cute? So trick or treat. We, we prefer treat, uh, even though there's a spider that's going to connect on the string. Uh, so adorable. And uh, that is beautiful in the making.